frustration by the senior. We just lost a lost a family member last week, so understandably some frustration. And in and out on the second free throw. So it'll be West Valley basketball. And a whole new crew in for Ripley. As Coach Leader gets all his seniors, gets a nice hand from the crowd here in the point. This is 38.1 seconds. This flight for covered by Jeremiah Brooks underneath. Oh, wide open Grigsby. Shots no good. There's a rebound. And no foul call. Grigsby no good. And Grigsby has the board, kicks it back out. Oh, almost over and back. Horseman comes up with a loose ball. Horseman steps around the player, gets his own rebound, and puts it back up and in. He's got three points. Five seconds left in this ball game. And shot is no good for three, but that's going to do it. So, West Valley wins this one 62 to 30. The girls won the game 60 to 29, and the boys win it 62 to 30. Dan Spatal leads the way, 16 points for West Valley boys. Colton Myers had 12. Anthony Sutton had 10. Marcus Enzer had 9 as well as Mike Grigsby, Dylan Westfall had six. For Ripley, Josh Smith and Nate Rogers each had six. Jeremiah Brooks and Shalano and Heimers each had four, and Horseman had, and Hammonds had three for Ripley. So we watched them continue to improve over the year, fall up a little short this year, but you um, can see their improvement. Once again, I'm Steve Keezer. Here for Cable Access Channel 5, Destination Chautauqua County Sports. Our producer tonight, Jeff Zook, and our cameraman tonight, Randy Burke. We we'll hope you join us too, or Monday when we're in Brockton as we will continue to bring you coverage of our broadcast area. Thank you again for joining us, and have a good night.